y'all welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to make these absolutely adorable little gumball christmas ornaments yes you've probably seen these all over social media and pinterest but you know what they're adorable and here's my take on them so stay tuned and i'll show you how to make them let's get started so first off what you're going to need is one two however many of these things that you want to make that's how many little flower pots you're going to need these are the tiny little two inch flower pots it says right there two inch flower pots i got these from walmart just today so you know walmart sells these all year round even though we're going into the colder weather they do still have them so you're going to need that you're going to need one of these clear round ornaments from the Dollar Tree. You get two in a pack and you can pretty much see the size here. And basically what I did is I had bought these at Dollar Tree. I took them in with me to Walmart and just compared the size, you know, to see what size flower pot would work the best. You're going to need a hot glue gun and glue sticks. I'll link down below to where I purchased my favorite one. And because these are going to be hanging up and these are kind of heavy, they do have some weight to them. You're going to need some other type of glue, adhesive, whatever that I just got all over my hand. That part is optional, so we're just going to wipe that off on a towel down here. <laughs> so you can use E6000. You can use, you know, whatever type of epoxy or glue you want. I do like this clear contact adhesive from Gorilla Glue, just like the glue sticks. I only use Gorilla Brand. You're going to need that and something to put inside the ornament to look like gumballs. I'm going to be using these little seven millimeter pom-poms. There are 100 in a pack, and I think I'm going to put the whole pack in the little ornament there. It's 99 cents for this. I got these at Joann's. You're going to need some pop tabs, like from a Coke can or whatever. These came off of, how do you say it, LaCroix, however you say it. That's what these came from. And then you're going to need some wing nuts. I got these at Lowe's. Any hardware store will carry them. You can see right there about the size. So first off, what we're going to do is you need to paint this. Now to paint it, you can use acrylic paint or you can use spray paint. I myself love spray paint. And I have this gloss apple red color from Rust-Oleum. I'm going to paint these with that. Probably I'm going to do two or three light coats instead of one heavy coat. It just looks better. And then while that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and I'll fill this up on camera, but I'm going to paint these. And then while they're drying, I'm going to fill all of them up with the pom-poms. Just open up, woo, open up our pom-poms here and we're going to lose our scissors. Oh Lord, have mercy. I had some, and uh, look at me trying to use a pair of pliers to rip this open. Well, it works, don't it? <laughs> all right, now just try to be careful and put these little guys down in here. I have seen so many variations of these ornaments. Um, I have seen them on Pinterest. I have seen it on Crafty Morning. I've seen them a lot of places. Some people I have seen use beads. I have seen people use actual food sprinkles. I, You know, you can use whatever you want, and these are going to be sealed up. It's not like, you know, anything's going to be able to get inside of them. But I would kind of shy away from using real food products. You know, I don't like crafting with food if I can get away with it, you know. But like I said, this is going to be sealed up. So I highly doubt that you're going to have any problems out of it. But if you put your Christmas ornaments and whatnot into a storage unit like I do, and if the temperature in there should get really hot, it may melt, you know, any little candy type sprinkles that you put in there. I don't know. You know, you just... um. You use your best judgment there. But anyway, I'm going to continue filling these up with these pom-poms. And then I'm just going to use a spot of this adhesive here that when I put the little cap back on, I'm just going to put a little bit of the glue right around here and then snap the cap on. And that is going to seal it shut. Okay, so let me put these in here and paint my pots and I'll be right back. Okie dokie, let's see what I've got going here. So here are some of the little pots. The paint has dried and I think we are ready to move on. I have the, oh, I got glue on it. I have my little pom-poms in my ornament here. And then what I did is at the top, I just took some of this red paint from Apple Barrel and a paintbrush and just painted it red. I thought it was much easier to paint 
when I had the cap actually on the ornament so that, you know, I had something to hold on to and then paint it. And then as it was drying, I just set it down in one of these other little pots here to let it dry. Optional. You don't have to paint yours, but I thought it looked better. All right. So now what we're going to do is I think we're going to go ahead with our little pop tab here and just find a good side. And this is the part where you actually break it away from the can. I want that kind of facing up top here so that we can cover it up with this. We can hide its little imperfection. All right, so I'm just gonna take some hot glue and you know, you can use whatever adhesive you have. Put a little bit on there, there we go. All right, and I'm just going to place it there and if it oozes out, we can take it off later. There we go. Let's see, got a little bit on my finger. Let's just shape that up there. That's the thing with hot glue. You can always go back once it's dried. And just take it off just like that. Okay, so now while that is setting up, where's my black paint? I have some black paint here and a little paint brush. And I'm just going to paint this little area right in here. You know, to kind of look like where the, uh, where the gumballs, candy, whatever, where they pop out. Just carefully. Can y'all see this? You know what? Let me zoom. Oh, hello. All right. Now let's move up so that you're back and see. I'm just painting that right in there. Probably have to let that dry and then do another coat. There we go. Yeah, let's let that dry. And then we'll do another coat. All right, let's get that paintbrush out of the way. And now what we're going to do is with our little wingnut friend here. We're just going to glue that right down there. Oh, right there. To kind of look like the little turn handle. You know, like when you put your change in and you turn the little doohickey. That's what that is. That's the doohickey. I'm just going to put a blob of hot glue and then just set that right there. Just let that set up. And as that's setting up, I'm going to hold it like this until it completely sets up so that the way of it doesn't pull it off. And then we're going to glue this to the top and then we're pretty much done. So let me sit here for another minute and make sure this glue is set up and then we'll put it all together. Alrighty, so I am back now and y'all know me when I'm making something and then I come across another supply that I have on hand I'm always adding little extra things and I drive myself crazy when I do it yeah this is one of those moments and I had a few sheets of these little red and green rhinestones I think these came from Walmart last year and what I did here in the center of our little our little knobby thing here I just stuck a rhinestone and then across the top here I put a handful just to give it a little something something so now let's set that over there. And now, seeing as how all the glue is set up, paint's dry, all I'm gonna do is put a blob of hot glue right here. And we're going to just stick this on like that. And then once that is set up, I'm gonna go back with this a little bit around. I'll use a toothpick or something. Just put, you know, just a little bit of more reinforcement glue <laughs> around it. So anyway, I have this uh, towel here to try to hold it upright. I was holding this upright actually while I was waiting for that glue to dry. So there's my blob of hot glue and I know these ornaments have a line on them. I'm trying to avoid putting that line towards the front. And now we're just going to squish it down. There we go. Let's see. That looks pretty good. And just hold it there until that glue sets up. And then we will be done. So just fill it in a little bit with the glue. And it's finished. I mean, seriously, how cute is that? <laughs> These cute little gumballs. I think they're adorable. And I hope that you think they're adorable. I hope you make a whole tree full of them. It would make me happy. <laughs> but there we are. We are done. So if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye!